Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com where we're taking a quick look at the GSI Outdoors Microlite water bottles. These are going to have the flip top lids and they come in one of two colors. You can either get green or red. They are sold separately, but I just wanted to show you the two side by side. Uh, these are pretty nice. I actually have a water bottle from GSI that I've been using for about a year, but it's the screw top one, but it is also the Microlite. So it's pretty similar other than the lid. But I'm actually thinking about upgrading to this one because that screw top, while it's fine, it does keep things cold for a really long time. Uh, it tends to kind of spill. There's just always like a little bit of water around the threaded portion because you screw it off and it looks pretty similar to this. But it just like I always end up dripping water on myself and I look like a mess. So um, this one, I don't think that that would be an issue just because of how uh, this spout works. It just kind of all goes into your mouth rather than going on to your shirt. So um, I also think this might be a little bit easier to clean, but I think it's probably gonna be pretty similar really, because um, the other one has also that kind of insulated cap, which isn't too bad. You just kind of have to get in there with like a little brush and clear that out every so often. Uh, even if you're just putting water in there, you always gotta wash things. So I like the water bottle overall. Again, it does keep things cold for a really long time. They say that it can, can keep stuff cold for up to 24 hours and hot things hot for up to 12 hours. The best way to make sure that you get the most of that time or you really uh, make sure that you get up to that max is to kind of prep the bottle before you pour in whatever you're gonna be drinking. So especially with hot stuff, like if you're gonna be putting coffee in here or maybe some soup or tea or anything like that, if you put in some hot water first, let it sit and warm the bottle for maybe about five minutes minutes then dump that out and then pour in your stuff it's gonna stay longer hot or stay hot longer um, basically it's just meaning that you are using that first round of water to heat the bottle rather than whatever you are gonna be drinking to heat it so you're not taking away that heat from whatever you're gonna be drinking later on if that makes sense uh, you can do the same thing with cold stuff since it keeps cold stuff cold for longer, uh, I don't think you'll have to worry about it as much, but you can always throw it in the freezer for a little while, get it really cold, and then throw in your ice water if you want it to be bitter cold all the time. Um, I personally am not that, that big on having super cold water, but everybody's different. So as far as the specs, let's take a closer look at these bottles. I think overall they're going to be pretty nice for you. They do fit easily into any kind of car cup holder. This is the same shape and size as the one that I've been using for about a year. So I wouldn't see this as being any kind of problem to fit into a cup holder, even on some of the vehicles that have narrow, narrower cup holders. It's about three inches in diameter, so that's pretty standard for just about anybody. Again, that flip top, really easy to use. It is spring loaded and there is a lock, so you don't have to worry about it coming open if you put it into a backpack or into a bag. If As soon as you snap that piece down, it won't release. So, release, locked. And that spout, so it kind of gives you a nice wide lip there for you to rest your mouth against, but then it does give you kind of a controlled amount of water or liquid that's coming out and there is a little secondary hole to allow air to come in so the air and liquid aren't trying to fight each other and you don't get that kind of like glug glug chuggy um, splash thing. I'm sure there's a name for what I'm trying to say but I don't know what it is. The inside here is also going to help keep everything insulated so again our stuff is going to stay whatever temperature we want for a long time. The thing that's nice about the Microlite is that it gives you that insulated water bottle, but it's not going to be as bulky as some of the other insulated water bottles out there. So the walls for this are pretty thin. Now, I, I know that might mean dent proof or dent uh, ridden, but I've had mine. I'm not particularly dainty or careful with my stuff and somehow it still hasn't been dented. So it seems to be pretty sturdy. As far as washability with this, it can go in the dishwasher. You don't want to put it in the microwave. It is made of metal. Um, and, and then there's another label on here that says uh, zero Celsius, 100 Celsius with a little line over a thermometer. So that just means you're not supposed to freeze it and you're not supposed to put boiling water in it. Um, I know I said you could put it in the freezer. I don't mean like freeze the bottle or freeze any liquid in there because as water freezes, it expands, it can crack most likely the lid. Um, I don't think that it would crack through the metal, but you'd probably end up damaging the lid. So be careful if you ever decide to do anything like that. As far as the overall height, 
Each one's about 10 inches tall, three inches in diameter, as we mentioned. And then the lid outermost part is about three and a half inches. They weigh about 11 ounces and they can hold up to 24 ounces, which is about three cups of water. So if you're keeping track of your water intake, pretty easy to work that into any kind of apps or formulas that you might be going off of. But that's pretty much it for our quick look at the water bottles from GSI. Again, I hope this has been helpful. It's always our goal to give you the best information possible so you can make the right choice the first time. And again, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.